Hello everyone, Ryan from iOS Mars here today. I'm going to show you guys a little uh, review of Lemur. Uh, basically what Lemur is, is kind of like a blank slate where you can create, a, you know, your own templates and interfaces to, to interact with, uh, you know, other apps or your computer with MIDI. Um, you know, this, this app was obviously designed uh, to work with a computer, but since we're iOS Mars, I'm just going to stick with the virtual MIDI and show you guys a, a few things. You know, I it took me a little while, and I couldn't find a whole lot of documentation. There wasn't a whole lot of templates already made out there for controlling apps via virtual MIDI. Um, I think that, um, you know, in a lot of cases, you are going to have to bring MIDI Bridge into the equation to, you know, connect your apps up, because uh, Lemur doesn't have background audio that I can find anywhere, so it, it doesn't really uh, make it easy to connect uh, as an input with other apps that require that. You know, a lot of apps like the Korg IMS20, it just uh, accepts MIDI from anywhere that's, uh, that's coming in, so it will work with that, but other apps it will not. So I'll get into that in a little bit anyways. But you know, this is a, a really great uh, uh, interface, uh, you know, for anybody like maybe a DJ or anybody who likes to sequence a lot of things. Uh, works really well for somebody like that. Uh, so if you're a DJ that you want to use uh, use something uh, where you can control a lot of different apps or your computer on your iPad for a live performance and do a lot of different things at once, you know, Lemur is probably the best thing out there for that that I've found so far. But anyway, so I'll get started on this. Uh, my first my first uh, template I created was actually for the the Core Guy MS20 here. So, I'll get started with uh, opening the template that I created, the Korg IMS20 template. There we go. And now I'm going to pop into the more settings here, and I'm going to send this to the IMS20. There we go. So we got a... So I got a little keyboard, and then up in the top here, obviously you can see I've created a little mini sequencer that controls uh, IMS-20's drum line. And, and what's neat about this is uh, you can control the, the beats per minute really easily from here, and the pitch of each drum. So I'll create a little drum beat here. You see some pretty cool stuff you could do already just with this. Uh, this is just my first template. Right on. So, um... I'll move on to the next template I've created, and uh, the next template is just a Beatmaker 2 one. 
So I'm going to pop open and uh, close my my Korg here. Oops, and I'll open a Beatmaker 2, where I've just created a project, and you know, at the end of this, uh, on the the iOS Mars website, I'll actually have all this. Uh, all these uh, templates and this Beatmaker 2 project available for download. So uh, I just created this song here and assigned uh, value, you know, um, MIDI in values to each track. I have eight tracks in total. So uh, I'll pop back to Lemur now. And we'll do the same thing we did last time. Open the Beatmaker 2 template. And I'll go to my More Settings and select Beatmaker 2 right on and now we should be able to so obviously we got a few different uh, few different things we can do here So obviously, yeah, um, we got our drum pads up here, and we have our keyboard down here controlling our, our lead synth. And uh, I even have made a little play button where we can play uh, the song. And I've made a mixer where, uh, you know, we've got our levels and our pan for each channel. Uh, you know, I left it... Uh, just label as channel one through eight because you know if you're if you're creating your own your own uh, beatmaker two song to work with this specific template, you know it's not going to have the exact instrument in every spot. But uh, the keyboard is channel one and the drum pads are channel two. So, so let's try messing around with this mixer. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. Uh, the next one I'm going to do is actually going to require MIDI Bridge. So, um, I'll close up my Beatmaker 2 as we're done with that. Open MIDI Bridge. Oops. And I'm going to open Drum Jam and Thumb Jam together. And I've created the template where we can do, uh, you know, some some kind of cool things with drum jam and thumb jam so I thought it would be a good combo so we'll try that out alright let me check out MIDI bridge and make sure we're connected and we are and now I'll pop back into lemur here where uh you know, I've got to do the same thing I did last time, but just slightly different. So I got my thumb jam and drum jam template. And I'll load, uh, instead of loading, you know, drum jam or thumb jam here, we're going to load MIDI bridge because we can't select uh, Lemur as our input in either of those apps. So now this should work. <laughs> So uh, one thing that's pretty cool here, uh, I've created a preset table where we can change what preset we're going to play on our, on our keyboard.
All right, so uh, obviously our our drum jam is up here. But uh, one thing I did want to show you is uh, this little ball function, which is kind of neat. So we have physics assigned to these balls, and every time these balls will touch the side of this as they're bouncing around this interface, it'll play a note. Uh, in this case, we had the we have the drums assigned here. So I'll turn my friction down and my speed up. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Um, you know, this is a really cool app uh, for lo doing a lot of things that you couldn't normally do inside these apps. Um, so yeah, uh, definitely, definitely a, a very, very advanced app though. So you know, uh, not really for beginners to come in and uh, just expect to create uh, awesome, awesome advanced templates in the first day. You know, it's going to take you, you know, at least a week of studying and uh, learning how to do things uh, before you can go. But uh, if you are looking for an, an iPad interface to control your computer, uh, Da, uh, specifically Ableton. It seems that uh, on their website, almost all the templates are for Ableton, so and uh, different VSTs. So um, you can check that out, and uh, you can definitely load those and learn from them, and uh, learn to send them to to virtual MIDI apps. And hopefully, the developers will, uh, you know, they'll add Audio Bus or uh, something something like background audio to keep this open in the background. So, um, yeah, that's all I wanted to show you guys today. Uh, if there are any requests for templates, I can, I can do my best to help you guys out when I have some time. But, uh, you know, i gotta, I got to do a lot more videos coming up here. So, yeah, if there's any requests, let me know. And uh, if you, if you want to pick up a lemur, uh, just uh, search the App Store for lemur. And uh, all these templates that I have made and the Beatmaker 2 project will be available from iOS Mars for download so definitely pop over there and uh, download those if you do have lemur and uh, get started on uh, making some more for you know iOS apps and you know if you could post them on the iOS Mars on the iOS Mars forum and uh, yeah we'll probably post them post them again from the actual site if uh, we like what you've done but uh definitely cool apps especially if you're uh into sequencing or anything like that so check this app out and yeah uh we'll see you guys next time